parents' concerns. Well, Steve, right now that coach is back at work. Now, this started controversy as parents found out he had returned after a school-led investigation. Tonight, one parent says the district is not protecting these students. They're minors. They don't really have uh, a voice in this. That's why Fort Zumwalt South parent Carrie Davis says he's speaking out. There's something there that is not being um, really flushed out completely. Davis says he's close to the case involving allegations against a South High coach accused of touching female students. You know, I said it's an unfortunate incident. It's unfortunate that it took place. On his Facebook page, he is voicing frustration that the coach has returned to work. The students claim this coach touched them on their behinds and made sexual comments about their mothers. I think the school district just did a poor job of making sure that the kids were the first priority. But the Fort Zumwalt School District doesn't see it that way. A spokesperson tells News 4 that as soon as they were made aware of this incident, they contacted the Division of Family Services who investigated. The state says the claims from the teens cannot be substantiated, allowing the coach to return. But News 4 has learned he has been switched to coach another team. They chose to, to keep that coach, like I said, involved and, and kind of gave him a slap on the wrist. These allegations come on the heels of another Fort Zumwalt district coach's problems. Last year, Erica Oxford, a volunteer track coach at East High School, was charged and accused of having a sexual relationship with a student. You know, that's kind of why I spoke up on it, because sometimes children don't have that voice. I have spoken to St. Peter's Police about this, and they do tell us that they have knowledge of this case and that they are reviewing it to see if it warrants a criminal investigation. We'll continue to follow this story. Ashley Lincoln, News 4. You